Siva, next topic. Mean continuous series when bit points are given. Okay, here it is very important. By seeing this, everyone think that it is a uh, discrete series. But here you have to observe what he has given here. Mid points. Mid points he has given. Mid points is given means it is nothing but it is a continuous series. What it is it is a continuous series. If mid points is given, then how we have to find the class intervals and how we have to do the problem once you see here. See the question mark. From the following data, calculate arithmetic mean he has given. So, midpoints 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55 he has given. And frequency is 6, 20, 50, 80, 55 and 39 he has given. If the question is given in this way, in this way we have, you should think that it is a continuous series. Then first what we have to do here to, uh, to find the class intervals means first to see here. Difference between midpoints. First you have to see. What you have to see ma? Difference between midpoints you have to see. Here difference between midpoints is how much? Here it is 5 and here it is 15. Between both them difference is how much here? 10. So midpoint difference is how much here? 10. First you have to see, you have to see that. Next, divide the difference by 2. We will be getting a figure of 5. Nothing but here we got the difference uh, 10 number. So this difference should be divided by 2. Then you will be getting how much you will be getting 5. Once again I will say it. Dividing the difference by 2. Nothing but the difference which we got here. Nothing but how much we got here 10. That 10 should be divided by 2. Then you will be getting a 5. Okay. Now 5 we got now. So adding and subtracting 5 from each midpoint. We get class intervals. Adding and subtracting. 5 from each midpoints we get the class intervals. Nothing but here midpoint is how much ma 5. For this 5 what we have to do means the difference uh, here how much we got figure how much we got 5 na. This 5 should be deducted to get the lower limit 5 should be subtracted here and this side we have to add. Okay so I will say it here once you see ma. So actually how much it is 5 with this 5 with there na. For this 5 so here how much we got the difference here uh, figure ma 5 so lower to get the lower limit what we have to do ma to get the lower limit what we have to do means minus 5 minus 5 you have to do okay so 5 minus 5 how much it is 0 5 minus 5 how much it is ma 0 and next what we have to do ma plus 5 okay plus 5 means how much 10 nothing but here the mid value how much he has given ma 5 he has given for this 5 first this side to get the lower limit minus 5 we have to do to get the lower limit what we have to do ma minus 5 you have to do to get the upper limit plus 5 we have to do so 5 minus 5 is how much 0 5 plus 5 is how much 10 have you got the point here how to find the class intervals here okay so once again i will clearly i will explain listen carefully Act first what we have to do means first we have to find the difference between the midpoints so difference between the midpoints is how much here 10 10 10 difference we got this 10 should be divided by 2 after dividing by 2 how much we got there 5 we got how much we got there 5 that 5 should be should be added or subtracted from each midpoint adding and subtracting from each midpoint okay so here how we how we can do that means if suppose there is a 5 5 value here 5 5 is there number so 5 is there na? so for this 5 what we have to do first we have to what we have to do ma? minus 5 you have to do minus 5 by doing minus 5 you will be getting a 0 by doing minus 5 you will be getting a 0 again for this what we have to do plus 5 so 5 plus 5 is how much? 10. Now we got the point now. Actually midpoint is how much? First midpoint how much is how much in the question? 5. For this 5 we should minus 5 and plus 5. If you are doing minus 5 means how much we got here? 0. If you are doing plus 5 means how much we got here? 10. This is nothing but a class interval. Nothing but a class interval. Clear? Okay. So see the answer here. Calculate arithmetic mean. So here midpoint is how much? 5. Minus 5 plus 5. If you are doing minus 5 means how much we got there? 0. Plus 5 means how much we got? 10. Second midpoint is how much ma? 15 is there. For 15 you do minus 5. If, do, if you are doing minus 5 means how much? 10. Plus 5 means how much? 20. Next midpoint is how much ma? 25. You do minus 5 means how much? 20 plus 5, 30. In that way you have to do, you will be getting a class intervals. After the frequency which is given in the question, that frequency you have to take. Okay, frequency which is given, that frequency you have to get. And remaining problem is same. Again, mid values. Okay, mid values you know now. 
जीरो प्लस टेन बाई टू टेन प्लस ट्वेंटी बाई टू और एज इन क्वेश्चन द मिड वैल्यूज ही हैज गिवन दो मिड दो ओनली दिड सॉरी दे विल बी द मिड वैल्यूज देर डायरेक्टली यू कैन टेक और एल्स How I have done in the previous questions, zero plus ten by two, ten plus twenty by two. In that way, we have to do. And next, what we have to do? We have to find the d. Okay, we have to find the d. How we have to find the d from mid values? What we have to do? Ma, from mid values, we have to select the assume value. Nothing but a. We have to select. So a, how much I have selected here? A is equal to five. I have selected from mid value. We have to deduct that five minus five zero, fifteen minus five ten, twenty five minus five twenty. Same like previous answers, ma. The same like previous questions. What we have done in same manner. Okay, after getting the d next, what we have to do, ma? D dash. How you will be getting the d dash? First, so you see the difference in d. In difference, uh, difference is how much, ma? Ten, ten, ten. Difference is there. So d divided by ten. 0 by 10 0 10 by 10 1 20 by 10 2 30 by 10 3 40 by 10 so in that way you will be getting a d dash after getting the d dash f into d dash f into d dash so f into d dash is how much here 6 into 0 0 20 into 1 20 50 50 into 200 80 into 3 240 55 into 4 220 39 into 5 195 total it is how much 775 that will be the sigma f d dash And f is uh, and n is how much? Two fifty. Now apply in the formula. What is the formula? Ma, mean is equal to a plus sigma f d dash by n into i. A is how much here? Five. So f d dash is how much? Seven seventy five divided by two fifty into ten. So five plus seven seventy five divided by two fifty is how much? Three point one into ten. So first you have to multiply here. So five plus three point one is minus how much? Thirty one. So mean is equal to five plus thirty one is how much? Ma, thirty six. Okay. If you are not able to understand once, so once again go through the video. You will be getting, uh, you will be getting a clear idea about this. Okay, now if you have any doubts, you can ask me through WhatsApp.